My dear friends, I am here as the chairperson of the Office of Human Development and Climate Change of the Federation of Asian Bishops Conference. A few days ago, I participated in a webinar organized by the Laudato Si movement. I am here to show support for the Fossil Fuel Non-Proliferation Treaty. We all realize the dangers of climate change. We have experienced the effects of climate change. We are aware of the various efforts being put to prevent this rise in temperature. This is another step which is very important, the Fossil Fuel Non-Proliferation Treaty. The Paris Agreement doesn't mention fossil fuels. The COP27 outcome didn't mention oil and gas. So I think it's time that we all join hands together to show our solidarity in trying to persuade governments and other important people who are responsible for this climate change, for this climate emergency. We need governments to join a block of Pacific nations spearheaded by Manayotu and Tuvalu in developing a fossil fuel non-proliferation treaty. Health, safety and security is what the world needs and it's possible to get there. But it requires ending the area of coal, oil and gas. So I would like to request all of you to join this block of Pacific nations in their call for a fossil fuel non-proliferation treaty to complement the Paris Agreement by accelerating an equitable shift away from fossil fuels to affordable, abundant, clean energy for all. It is a fact that today a few governments have promised to have this fossil fuel non-proliferation treaty. But we require also the business people. We also require communities. We want people who, who influence the policies and the decision making in the in our countries. So my I would like to tell you that the Federation of Asian Bishops Conference is uh, with you and we are trying our best and will try our best to have this fossil fuel non-proliferation treaty in the next COP meeting. I wish you all success and I am with you and the FABC is with you.